Okay, so something else we need to think about with circles. Okay, so if I draw two radiuses and divide the circle up into two portions, I basically cut a piece out of the pie. Now this is called a sector that I've cut out. Okay, these are obviously radiuses. Now this is a sector as well, it's just a bigger sector. This is the sector we're going to try and work out the area of. Now this is also called an arc, which is just a portion of the circumference of a circle. So, this obviously we have an angle in here. Don't forget, the total angle inside a circle all the way around is 360 degrees. So let's say this angle was 70 degrees. This is a fraction of the whole. Okay, so it's going to be 70 over 360 of the entire circle. That's what fraction this sector is going to be of the entire circle. So, to work out the area, we would just then times that by the area of the whole circle. Again, if we wanted to just work out the arc, we would do 70 over 360 times by the circumference of the entire circle. So let's do that. Let's use r equals 5 as we had in the previous question, which gave us an area of 78.5. So a equaled 78.5 and the circumference equaled. Thirty one point four two. Okay. So all we need to do is times these two numbers by seventy over three sixty. So seventy divided by three sixty gives us our fraction is point one nine. So we've got point one nine or very nearly a fifth of the circle here. So we just do point one nine times by the area gives us the area of this sector, which is 15.3. We'll call that centimeters squared. Let's remember units here. Since this radius is going to be five centimeters. The area is going to be centimeters squared. The circumference is just going to be centimeters. Okay, and then the circumference which just go up. 0.19 times by 31.42 times 31.42 and that's just going to equal 5.97 centimeters. It's that straightforward. That's how you work out the area of a sector or the length of an arc.